Get ready for the ride of your life. It's a bold new series that asks the most provocative questions and takes you wherever they lead. Every great journey begins with curiosity. In many parts of the world, winter temperatures drop low enough to make rivers and lakes freeze. And in those same parts of the world, where even those waters freeze, the ocean waters will not. Think about the pictures you've seen of the Arctic region. Most of the Earth's Arctic region is a frozen tundra, except the ocean. Why? First we need to know how water freezes. Water is made of tiny molecules, H2O, that move around a lot. As the temperature gets colder, the water molecules slow down. When the temperature falls to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, these slow-moving molecules find each other and start sticking together to form ice crystals. However, ocean water is different from fresh water, which we find in lakes, ponds, and rivers. Ocean water has salt dissolved in it. Salt has small particles called ions that surround the water molecules and keep them from sticking together to form ice. Ice will only begin to form when the ocean water gets even colder about 29 degrees Fahrenheit. As sea water gets colder it gets denser. That means its molecules pack tightly together. Because it's more dense, this salty water begins to sink. That leaves less salty water on the top of the water. And the water begins to freeze. Sea ice has almost no salt in it. In fact, if you melt it you can drink it. In places that get super cold, like around the north and south poles, there is a lot of sea ice at the surface especially in winter, that doesn't mean the whole ocean is frozen though. Under the ice, the ocean water is still there. Otherwise, it would be very hard for seals and fish to swim and for polar bears and penguins to dive below the icy surface to hunt them.